What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, thank by the way, I would like to say thank you so much sa mga nag-view ng previous video ko about uh, the full performance of um, Gazzini Ganados. Tapos, if you want to watch it again, just uh, click the link under the description. Nakalagay dyan. And yeah, so ngayong araw na ito is that ang gagawin natin, I, I will going to describe kung what kind of uh, costume, kung paano ginawa yung costume, um, saan ba yun inspired with, or we will describe more about uh, even the, 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 the history of it, it is described natin. So, ayun guys, and I hope that you will like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that's Mark Fantastic, M-A-R-K, space F-U-N-T-A-S-T-I-C, guys. Alright, so... Today's video will talk about the top 10 best national costumes. So I think we'll start with the first one. Uh, yan. Let's start with Laguna. Laguna, eh, uh, it's Loren May Bautista. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, yeah, it's designed by Rene Magtibay Salud. So he is actually, you know, a very popular designer, and also Chico Esteva. Uh, so I think for this, uh, it is inspired with the Christian tradition, uh, with which meets the Muslim culture in symbol. So it is really the perfect collaborative design, you know, uh, between the old guard and the avant guard. Mm -hmm. So para nakikita ko yung ano yung yung sparkling glow, gold nakikita yung cloth dito sa ibaba niya yung sparkling glow gold and the electric pink so the the, the butterfly sleeve cape you know is something that drapes over a columnar sheath uh, of the dress in inaol so actually inaol guys is it is a traditional magindanao wave so it is very authentic talaga yung sinuot niya and also uh, when you look at the crown i think it is uh, uh, called is the Bacolo crown and the scepter you know, of burnt gold stone. So we also have the crystals. So that really completes the royal look of uh, Lorraine. Yeah. Uh huh. So you know, guys. No. Next is we have Yung Sapasig, hmm? uh, Maria Andrea Abisamis. So if you look at to her. Uh, in this picture, makikita nyo talaga that uh, the inspire of this is, I think, Sally. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Sally is the one who uh, designed this gown, uh, this national costume by actually, I think he inspired this one to the Dream Wavers, Dream Wavers of the Sulu Archipelago. So that's uh, the Yakans, no? to be specific. So for the costume, you can see the, sip, uh, the Siputangan. So, uh, you can see uh, sa, iya, sa, i, sa kanyang ibabaw uh, in, his, in her head wrap and waistband that women wear. So, it is actually, you can see the badge on top and the sawal or the trousers. So, which both yakan men and women wear for their comfortability. At the same time, the functionality and equality status. So, you can see how um, creative uh, the, the, the designer is in this kind of costume. So we have here, of course, Negros Occidental. Uh, yeah, Vicky Marie Rushton. Uh huh. So I think for this, uh, uh, ang inspiration talaga nito ni Joe Mar Peralta, that it's the designer, is that I think uh, uh, it's a diwata of the Philippine mythology. Mythology, I mean. So, it's also a homage to the artistic tradition of folk folk or brass uh, tinsmith. Alright guys, so up next is we have uh, Masbate. So, uh, she, she is Hannah Arnold. So, I think in this um, costume, I could say, um, actually this is designed by Benj um, Ligiab, uh -huh, the fourth. So, I think what happened to this is that this is something like um, a cordilleras no? for the Igorot uh, fabric costume with the banga as you can see the banga as the focal point of this um, of this costume 
and I think Hannah's tradition dance highlighted prayer symbols as well as the snake skin as you can see the snake skin over here and the mountain tattoos pattern on the costume have been um, blessed by the legendary tattoo artist Apo Wang Od so I think you know uh, it is very intricate at the same time very authentic mm -hmm. next is we have uh, Palawan so Samantha Bernardo wow so she is very graceful in the way she carry her uh, national costume so the designer of this is I uh, Patrick um, Isorena yeah so in this case I think Isorena transformed Samantha in, into a into the elusive Ibong Adarna so, while uh, paying tribute uh, to the Palau's culture and the costume is uh, made of thousands of individually hand painted um, feathers uh, wooden beads crystals and bells all drenched in gold to signify strength and also power mm -hmm. yeah so we, next is this one uh, Bacolod City so we have here Cassandra Chan so she is also very graceful in handling or in carrying her costume and, and this is designed by to Tony De Ramos. So in this case, I think uh, this designer, Tony De Ramos, made the modern turno. So it is very uh, common. Yet uh, with a heirloom fan of ostrich feathers that reflects the heydays of Bacolod's flourishing sugar industry. And he created a Bacolina in tulle, organza, baroque and crystal embellishments with i think flowers over the lesage embroideries next is uh, cebu city cebu city is miss samantha law okay mm, this is very unique so the designer of this gown is edwin ui and i think for this uh edwin or ui made a heavily embellished intricately uh beaded costume inspired by Taosu princess so as you can see the long nails there are are actually um, Samantha's brand dishes and very eye-catching elements of the ethnic dance you know, known as Pangalai so if you are going to uh, research about the the folk dance Pangalai you can really see that they are the dancers are wearing um, long nails okay all right now let's move on to Puerto Princesa um, this is uh, Miss Jessare Dumaging so uh, wow what a very nice um, national costume so this is designed by Jubal Claus uh, Polycarpio Silvestre and in, I think in this creation uh, as what no I've I've research about this that Silvestri calls his creation as uh, Tandikan which depicts the Palawan peacock uh, peacock uh, pheasant eh? it is a cultural fixture for the province in province indigenous peoples that also appears in the city seal of Puerto Princesa so with had with hand painted details using eco-friendly paint and embedded with semi precious stones the costume creates awareness for the preservation of the exotic bird. Mm -hmm. Well, that's definitely so nice. No? And another, you know, uh, costume that strikes me is this one, no? the Magindanao, our uh, Resham Said. Uh, aside from she's very beautiful, I think she can handle very well. Uh, she can carry the the costume confidently at the same time I think there's no hassle for her to carry that kind of headdress and yeah the designer of this um, headdress I mean costume is Ryan Jude Mariano Castillo so for this costume based on what I have researched is that Castillo you know create this costume uh, fit for the Maguindanaon princess and queen of the LGBTQ community so in this case he used inakul as well as colorful materials to spread a powerful message of equality diversity and acceptance 
Yeah. Then um, we have here Pampanga. Pampanga is Miss Emma Tiglao, and yeah, as you can see her smile. At the same time, she is also intelligent. Yeah, very diligent. So uh, Miss Pampanga, uh, uh, this national costume was actually or is actually designed by Witch Sabinian. So um, based on what I have read about this, no, that Sabinian. Sabinian's Filipiniana tells the amazing story of Fe Esperanza Caridad. Uh, that Fe is faith in God, uh, depicted in the headpiece you can see of brass metal used to make crowns of saints. So Esperanza, hope, white, solihia, knitted fabric, paying tribute to the international Kapampangan furniture makers, and also Caridad, charity. A true labor of love from the resident basket wavers of the BJ, BJMP um, Angeles District Jail Mail Dorm uh, who weave the gowns fabric. So it's really good, right? Now, uh, yeah, so those were actually the 10 uh, best national costume. And uh, as you all know, alam yun naman lahat, no? Na ito ay pinili uh, ito ay pinili nila ni uh, Ms. Uh, ng, ng binibining Pilipinas executive committee members na sila Miss Stella Marquez, Araneta, si Sir Raymond Villanueva and Conchita uh, Sevilla Bernardo. So sila yung nagpili ng top 10 best in national costume. And also uh, the public will then choose the winner in the online poll at pinipinipilipinas.com. So ayun guys. So I think um, I'm done with my review at the same time with how or so um, yung history, yung history or yung stories behind those different national costumes. So guys, if you like this video, thank you so much and um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this to your, to your friends and to everyone else that you knew. And hopefully that is very helpful for you, uh, especially kat, uh, yung mga ano yung yung mga healing jan sa pageantry. Those people who loves pageantry, uh, please share to those um yeah to your friends. So I think that's all for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.